quickly, just a quick video to show you how I don't get muddy pores. All right, so we're gonna jump right in. Okay guys, so the first thing that I try to do is avoid colors that I know are gonna mud. But for video's sake, I've chosen colors that do mud. I've got um, teal, orange, I've got a metallic, and white. So first what I'm gonna do is I am going to take the teal, I'm gonna put the teal in first. So that leads me to the second thing is learning how to layer your paints. I always layer in between colors I know that are gonna mud, I use white. Some people use a different color um, that complements those two. I tend to stick with a lighter color, usually white. Um, in this case, I'm gonna add a metallic also. And then I'm gonna put my orange on top of that. So layering is really um, very helpful. All right. Actually, I'm gonna put a little bit more teal on the top. That way, we're gonna test this out. We're gonna push it a little bit. Okay, guys, so I'm just gonna go ahead and flip it. And I flipped it the safe way today. Most of the time I just flip it on, makes a mess, but today I'm just gonna do it like that. And then a lot of times I just put a little bit around the edges just to help it flow a little bit. Oh, look at those. I gotta show you guys that, holy moly. All right, so now that leads me into the third thing that works for me is avoid over tilting. When you tilt too much, the colors get mixed and it just creates a mess. In this case, I'm just tilting from one corner to the next, and then one more corner. And now if you wanna reset, you can always move it back. And there you go. So that's how I avoid getting muddy pores. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'd love to see your guys' results. So go ahead and give it a try. And if you got any value, you learned anything from this video today, please go ahead and like the video, subscribe to my channel. I really do appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. Thank you for watching and have a great day.